So I am the business, I am business partner and I work for a company called Stryker Corporation. We make medical products. So I'm the liaison between the IT organization and the finance industry um, and they lease hospital equipment to our customers so they're kind of in the leasing space. So they first came to me with a RPA initiative and asked for help. That's kind of how this all started. So now we have three automations in production and we're slowly kind of cutting our teeth and figuring out how we're going to get more. We're experimenting with it. So we have this team we call the HITS team and they're responsible for kind of like the R&D of IT. So they're working with some of the AI but we haven't paired it yet with Blue Prism but it's definitely coming. It was, there was a lot of takeaways. I took about 10 pages of notes. <laughs> I think the, the most impactful for me were hearing the real examples. So from the Pfizer and from the banking, um, the Bank of Canada, yep. Um, just knowing that they started off small and that it was okay to not do it all at once and that we can kind of bite it off and we might make mistakes and learn along the way and we don't have to have a center of excellence set up right now in order for us to still be successful. I think that was probably the biggest reassurance for me that we're getting there. Really articulating the importance of having that resource aligned ahead of time because that's really what's going to drive, even if you use implementation partners, you still need one person at your organization who is going to be responsible for the initiative and the strategy and growth and drive the whole thing from start to finish.